It's that time of year again where life is extra. And I'm talking extra everything, extra busy, extra parties, extra events, extra sequence, extra just everything in general because it's holiday time. I was reminded about this today as I was shopping with my lead stylist and we were going through the mall, picking things up. When you go to the mall starting November and December, you see a lot of holiday pieces, which means sequins, shiny things, sparkly things, gowns. And I think that holiday time is very fun, but there is so much planning that needs to go into it. Even your clothing. And I've been having a lot of clients ask for, what do I wear for Thanksgiving? I need outfits for holiday parties. I need outfits for a Friendsgiving. And just in general, events as they come up. So I want to share with you some very fun, elegant pieces to look for and also casual pieces that you can dress up for whatever comes your way for this season. And if you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on the podcast, there is a link in the show notes where you can actually buy everything I'm talking about. And in today's episode, I am going to be pointing you in the right direction to begin shopping for holiday time. So we're going to talk about one, Favorite place to get holiday dresses. I'm going to share that with you today so that you can go on the websites and find these things. Number two, how to wear a skirt casually. I am loving all the skirt options, so I want you to know what is available right now. Number three, what blouses are best to pair with jeans? If you are a casual gal and you don't want a full new outfit, getting a new blouse to pair with jeans is the perfect way to get dressed up. Number four, pant looks you will love. So if you do want to do a pant look and you're not into the dress thing and you're not into skirts, let's talk about pant options because there are a variety of looks that you can go for. And number five, let me just share my top three shoe options that you need for any look. When I think holiday, I'm thinking something spectacular and I want something that's eye catching, but that's just me. And that's for just like big holiday parties. So if you're in that same boat, let's just start with what you need for dresses. If you want something that is a statement that really stands out from the crowd and you don't want something that somebody else might be purchasing and wearing to the holiday party, I would say the best place to go shopping is drumroll. If you don't know, it's Revolve, revolve revolve.com. And I do want to warn you, they have a lot of dresses and they have a range of price points. So if you are shopping, you need to literally, especially for dresses, you need to buy a lot of them. I want you to think of your room or the place in your house that you're gonna be trying things on, I want you to think of that as your personal fitting room. If you're watching YouTube in the background, you probably see some holiday dresses already. I have an event to go to and I had to order a lot of dresses to try on. Spending a little bit more on your holiday dresses will make a huge difference on not only the fit, but also the way that it looks. If you are in a place where there is a boutique nearby, boutiques are always so much fun. They're a treasure hunt. If you have a boutique near you that carries gowns, I would go there for something special and something different if you have time and you want to drive out there and try things on in store. I do want to say that if you do go into the department store, if you're listening to this and you did not plan ahead and you're like, oh my gosh, I have an event coming up ASAP and I actually just need to go into a store, you can go to a bigger department store so you can do Nordstrom, Macy's has great classic cuts. If you want something that is classic, Macy's is actually a great option. And Macy's is not, by the way, it is not my go-to for anything in particular, but here in Seattle, Washington, Macy's actually does have a great dress department of classic pieces. If you are in another state, Bloomingdale's is also a great option. If you are more on a budget, I would suggest trying Lulu's. Lulu's is one of those, like, it's almost like a warehouse brand where they have like a million different colors and cuts and things to look at. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest fan, but I know that there's some people on a budget that just need a dress and Lulu's is a great spot to find different color options 
and also different cuts and styles to find one that really fits you best. I'm also going to share anthropology. Surprisingly, it's probably not like the top place that you would think about to go dress shopping, but they do have more relaxed and some dressy pieces as well. It is worth checking out. If you want something that has like creative detailing to it, then check out anthropology. There is this dress that I put on the board that is, it's more casual and it's this forest green and it just looks so effortless and easy to wear. So anthropology is another spot. Number two, let's talk about skirts because I'm not going to lie. I am really obsessed with a great skirt and clients are too. I was shopping with a client today who on our shopping plan, I had put on there that we need some more pant options outside of jeans because she has some great jeans that we have purchased together. But today I had her try on the skirt and I was like, okay, this wasn't on our list, but it is something that you can dress up and dress down super easily. I had her try on the skirt from Madewell. It's this brown corduroy skirt. And the way that I paired it for her was a trench coat and just a ribbed top underneath. It looks so good. She could wear it with flat, tall boots. She could wear it with a uh, tall sock and some sneakers. She could do a loafer with it. But the way that she really liked it was with tall boots. And also one of our shopping trips, we got these beautiful Cezanne snakeskin. They were like a brown and black booty. Oh my gosh, that corduroy skirt is going to go in so many different outfits I put together for her. I am really excited that she was excited about it too. So skirts, obsessed. So let me tell you what skirts are out there. So one, the corduroy skirt I just talked to you about. Two is a denim skirt. You could do a short denim skirt or you could do a long denim skirt. I prefer for clients one with a slit. It adds a little bit of extra movement, especially since a long denim skirt feels a bit more straight and stiff. Number two, short tweed skirts. There's a lot of short tweed skirt options that are great for dressing up for a holiday party. And two is a pleated skirt. I'm not going to talk too much about a silk satin skirt. I feel like that was a big summer spring thing, but for fall, I'm looking more at other skirt options that have more weight. So a sweater skirt option, which Today I tried on an ALC skirt sweater and it was so gorgeous. It was very unexpected. And actually my lead stylist pulled it out for me because we were trying different things on and it was gorgeous. So you'd be surprised if you haven't worn the skirt in a while, please try one on and try one of these formulas because it is going to like change your way of like seeing how you could wear a skirt. And when people think that they can't wear a skirt, there is a skirt option out there for you. It just needs to be styled the right way for it to feel good. Different ways to wear a skirt option for holiday parties. Absolute easiest is a sweater. And you can do any kind of sweater. You could do a funnel neck sweater. You could do a crew neck sweater. I do think that when you're wearing a sweater with these skirts, it doesn't need to be overly oversized. It does not need to be overly oversized, but it does need to be a little bit loose, especially if you were doing a more fitted short skirt or a fitted midi skirt. There's something about the way it looks that just feels like it's more effortless and you want that with the skirt option. So I recommend doing something that is a little more loose. It should come close to... Um, right below the waist, it could be slightly cropped and not cropped in the way where your belly is showing, but cropped where it's shorter. Because if you do the longer skirt with it, it can look like a lot of fabric and kind of change the silhouette that you're trying to create. But one that is cropped looks so good or a funnel neck or a bell sleeve. Yeah, I know bell sleeve in a sweater. Oh, love it. Another thing that you can do is if you're trying to dress it down, this sounds very basic but it looks great. Just a solid T or a solid just turtleneck looks so good with it as well. And you could do a turtleneck that has a bit of ribbing to it. You could do a turtleneck in a really thin material if you don't want something too heavyweight. And pairing a jacket over it 
You can do a wool jacket. You can do a trench. You can do an oversized denim jacket. So of course it really depends on the occasion, but layering your, your skirt with different things over it that is a little bit longer and bigger, it looks really put together. And you could even just do a blazer. Like if you have a really cool blazer in your closet, pull that out, wear it with the top and your skirt option. Okay, moving on to blouses and jeans. Another little trick for the season is that not all of your tops have to be tucked in. I know I am breaking a rule that you probably just started following of like tucking everything in, which by the way, I am still in and here for a tuck. I love a tuck. But just saying, if you're wearing a blouse, you don't always have to tuck it in. And the exceptions for blouses that don't have to be tucked in tend to be if they have some sheer movement to it, which uh, on the shopping board, if you go in, you will be able to see what I'm talking about. But it could be a button down that's open and you just leave the last few buttons open on that button down shirt. And again, kind of like a slit in a denim skirt, it adds this movement to it. I promise you when you try this at home, you'll be like, oh, okay, unbutton the bottom buttons of my button down shirt. I see why I don't have to tuck it in or just do like half a tuck to it. Blouses that go well. I am all for a sheer blouse and you could do a sheer fitted top and then underneath it wear a fitted cami. If you are bold and brave and wanting something sexy, you could do a bralette under something sheer and if it feels too exposed but you like the idea of it you could put a blazer or another jacket over it and it looks so good of course it depends on the occasion and where you're going and who's going to be there but if it's like girlfriends or going out on a date night try that out if you're willing to do something bold if not a fitted cami works perfect so sheer tops sheer blouses another one is just in general, the button down blouse that you would think of traditionally for work, there are a variety of button down blouses this season that you could try with jeans, including a velvet. Velvet is back in. You could do a velvet button down that again, kind of like I shared, keep the buttons open on top, some open on bottom, and you can do that with bold jewelry. And you could even do what you would traditionally think of to wear to work as a button down blouse that's silky and do that with jeans instead and heels and it looks really polished and put together. So you can transfer that piece that you thought was like office wear attire for a blouse and put it with jeans and heels and dress it up in a different way. Another great option that you could wear with like top option that you could wear with your jeans is wearing a more fitted sweater. So we talked about like slightly oversized sweater with the fitted skirt, but in this case with the denim to dress it up, you can do a collared sweater that's more fitted, tuck it in and then do a belt and do like a nice overcoat over it. Looks really polished as well. And lastly, the must have shoes for your wardrobe for fall and winter. And if this is repetitive, it's because you need to add these to your closet. It will help you create so many looks and I promise you. So if you're gonna do boots, I'm gonna give you some boot options that are like a must. Number one, black booties or a black boot. Black has been a color. It's weird to say that black color is in when black is such a neutral color, but it really is. Doing black can elevate your look completely and it will go with all the things. If you are somebody that wears a lot of lighter colored items, then try a boot that is like a, I mean, you could do like an ivory, you could do a beige. It depends on your style too. If you're more casual, you can do a beige. If you like to dress up more, you could do like an actual white or ivory boot and it would look really great. If you're doing holiday type of shoes, doing silver or a gold, you can do that and dress anything up. Like you could do just a basic t-shirt and some um, jeans and a belt and a jacket and then do like a silver or gold shoe. And it's like, wow, that looks very holiday like. So sometimes shoes can like instantly make your outfit look really holiday like or even just put together and dressed up. 
I would say if you are really into solids, if you have a lot of solid pieces in your closet, then doing like a snakeskin or a cheetah print shoe is going to be a great option to kind of bring more interest in your look. Like don't be afraid to bring texture and animal print into your look this season. It can really just elevate it and add some interest. Okay. I shared all the things and everything I shared, you can actually shop from. I want you to visually see how I combine these pieces together. So when you go into the show notes and get that shopping board, which by the way, is completely free, my gift to you, you're welcome. Um, when you go in there and you look at the pieces, you'll be able to see how I put it together in full outfits. If you want additional support and you are loving the shopping board and the podcast, we can always hop on a free clarity call. In the free clarity call, we will see what you are struggling with and find solutions to make shopping easy for you. The whole goal of working together when we work one-on-one -on -one is to be able to create at least 15 outfits head to toe. Continue building a life and a style that truly reflect you. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and I will catch you next time.